all students in last lecture we have seen what is the ict that is information communication technology so um, you would agree that in today's modern world the computer have become an essential part of everybody's life computers are being used in almost every field every new area of activities like uh, we use computers in homes offices school colleges universities hospitals shops and different businesses industries banks railway station bus stations airport okay so all these are the examples where we use the computer in day to day life so as most of the routine activities in today's society are being performed by the computers it has become essential for everybody to acquire some basic knowledge about the computer so what is computer we have seen what is computer it is an electronic device or the calculating device that can perform arithmetic operations so it is not just a calculating device it can perform any kind of work involving arithmetic logical operations of, on the data and the information so it gets the data through an input device it processes it as per the instructions given that is we give the input it processes it according to the instructions and then it gives the in output in the form of information so uh, this is the about computer now we will see what is hardware hardware refers to any physical component of a computer that is we see uh, that is the visible part of the computer is called as an hardware in today's computer industry a wide variety of hardware components are available uh, one minute please so uh, hardware refers to physical component of a computer that is visible part of the computer in today's computer industry a wide variety of hardware components are available that is uh, we say the functional use within a computer system they can be broadly classified into three categories okay one is input devices okay we give the input through input devices then it processes and it gives the output so all it is divided into three categories one is input devices second one is output devices and third one is the storage devices okay so it is essential for us to be aware of the working and uses of different hardware components of the car computer so this unit deals with anatomy of the computer meaning and the functions of the input devices output devices and storage devices different diff types of the computers and hardware troubleshooting and diagnosis so here you can see the concept map of the computer so in concept map in concept map of ICT you can see the computer different types of the computers so this is about ICT uh, information communication technology uh, it is used for the retrieving of the data, creating of the data, transmitting of the data, storage of the data, collaboration of the information and processing of the information. So all this is about the information communication technology. So where we use the information uh, communication technology everywhere, like in education, in education and uh, business and banking okay so here is the concept map of the computer 
here you can see the input devices next is storage devices input output port cpu is at a central processing unit where we conduct all the working of the computer and next one is the output devices and different types of the computers so input devices uh, are mouse light pane microphone webcam barcode reader keyboard joystick digitizer touch screen omr scanner ocr trackball okay all these are comes under input devices next is uh, output devices output devices like printer monitor speaker projector lcd crt that is cathode ray tube then pico projector mpp laser inject dot matrix all these are comes under printer okay that is these are the types of the printer next one is the interactive whiteboard okay so these are all output devices next is types of there are different types of the computers like supercomputers hybrid mainframe smartphone wearable computer tablets okay then storage device uh, devices are all, also there like disk check hard disk cd rom sd card flash drive couch storage okay dvds <coughs> next is central processing unit that is cpu this is the main or the heart of the computer it is divided into three units that is alu cu and mu that is memory unit so one is first one is arithmetical and logical unit all the oper uh, uh, mathematical operations are done by the alu that is arithmetic logical unit like addition subtraction multiplication division control unit controls all the uh, data flow and the information flow between the cpu next one is memory unit that is divided into primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory is ROM, RAM, cache. So, <clears throat> there are different units of memory that is bits, bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes. Okay. So, <clears throat> primary memory. <clears throat> What is primary memory? It is an internal memory of the computer, also known as the main memory of the computer. It is divided into three parts, ROM, RAM, cache. So RAM is random access memory, which is also called as volatile memory. Read, write memory is there. And uh, when we, <coughs> the information stored in this memory is lost as the power supply to the computer is switched off. So hence it is called as volatile memory or RAM memory. Next one is ROM memory, read only memory which stands for, which is permanent type of memory. The concept is not lost when the power supply is switched off. The content of the ROM is decided by the computer manufacturer and permanently stored at the time of manufacturing. So <clears throat> this memory is no, not a volatile memory, also called as non-volatile memory ROM, okay? So we have seen the primary memory. Next one is the secondary memory. It is an extremely external memory of the computer. It is used to store the huge amount of different programs and information. There are different types of uh, secondary storage devices like magnetic hard disk, magnetic tapes, pen drives, flash memory, optical disk, SSD. Okay. All these are the secondary memory. <coughs> and uh, the units of memory that is bits, which is binary digit that hold the memory only one or two values that is zero and in one. Nibble, a group of four bits is called as a Nibble. That is, we can say one zero zero one 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 double zero one triple one and one. So all these are comes under Nibble byte. A group of eight bits is called as byte. A byte is the smallest unit which can represent a data item or the character. 
<coughs> anatomy uh, of a computer the internal design of computers differs from one model to another but the basic component of computer remains the same for all the models to function properly a computer needs both hardware and software hardware <coughs> consists of the mechanical and electronic devices which we can see and touch so keyboard monitor dvd are some examples for the computer hardware the software consists of programs the operating system and the data that reside in the memory and storage devices microsoft office open office are some examples of a computer software so uh, a computer mainly performs the following four functions to receive the input okay that is it accepts the information from the outside through various input devices like keyboard mouse okay and it processes the information it performs arithmetic or logical operations on the information product output uh, it produces out it communicates information to the outside world through output devices like monitor uh, we give the input through keyboard or the mouse it processes in the cpu or the central processing unit and it gives the output or it displays the information as an output in the form of uh, through monitor printer okay so it produces output then it stores the information stores the information in storage devices like hard disk compact disk okay a computer has the following three main components input output devices central processing unit and memory unit so uh, through the concept map we have seen the input output unit that it, it takes the input data according to given set of instructions and gives us the output central processing unit it has the uh, main component or the brain of the computer which performs all the processing of the input data in microcomputer the cpu is built on a single chip or integrated circuit is called as microprocessor the cpu consists of the following distinct parts that is alu arithmetical logic unit control unit resistors buses clocks okay so what is arithmetical logic unit it performs all the mathematical operation or the arithmetic operations like addition subtraction multiplication division as well as the logical operations okay control unit the control unit is responsible for controlling the transfer of the data and instructions among other units of the computer <coughs> next one is uh, these are the different parts of the computer like clock resistor buses memory unit we have seen the memory unit what is ram and rom read only memory is rom is an essential component of the component of the memory unit the memory which has essential instruction is known as read only memory this memory is permanent <clears throat> and is not erased when the system is switched off so the memory capacity of ram varies from 64 kb to 256 kb depending on the model of the computer random access memory is used to store data and instructions during the execution of the program ram is temporary and erased when the computer is switched off ram is read write type of memory and thus can be read and written by the user at it is possible to randomly use any location of this memory so it is random access memory and the memory capacity varies from 640 kb to several mega bytes okay with different models of the computer so uh, and the hardware are the physical components while the software to the programs required to operate the computers we have seen the input devices basic input devices and special input devices basic 
Input devices which are essential to operate a PC are called basic input devices. These devices are always required for basic input operation. These devices include keyboard, mouse, okay. And special input devices uh, which are not essential to operate a PC are called special input devices. These devices are used for various special purposes required for basic input operations. These devices include includes trackball, light paint, touch screen, joystick, digitizer, scanner, optical, OMR, barcode reader, okay, optical character reader, OCR. Magnetic ink character recognition that is MICR and voice input device. All these are the special input devices which are not at not very much essential to operate a PC. Okay, so we will see uh, one by one uh, input devices like keyboard. What is keyboard? It is manual data entry computer keyboard are similar to an electron electric typewriter keyboards but contains additional keys as well so keyboards has been standardized for use in all types of computers such as pc workstation notebook computer the keys on computer keyboards are classified as follows so like letter keys there are 26 letters of english alphabets digit keys Two sets of digit keys, one on the second row from the top of the key, just as typewriter, special characters key, and non printable control keys, <coughs> and function keys. Okay, F1 to F50. Next is mouse. What is mouse? Mouse, what is mouse? Mouse is a device that controls the movement of the cursor on the display screen. It is a small object you can roll along a hard flat surface. Its name is derived from its shape which looks like a mouse. So uh, as you move the mouse, the pointer on the display screen moves in the same direction. So everyone knows about the mouse. Next one is other input devices like trackball. Trackball is an input device which is mostly used in notebook or laptop computer instead of the mouse. <coughs> light paint. Light paint is a pointing device which is similar to a paint. It is used to select a displayed menu item or draw pictures on the monitor screen. Touch screen. Some special MIDI-U devices have touch sensitive screen. These screens are sensitive to human fingers and act as a tactile devices using touch screen. The user can point to a selection on the screen instead of pressing the keys. Joystick. Joystick is a pointing device which is used to move a certain position on a monitor screen. It's a stick having a spherical ball at its both lower and upper ends. The lower spherical balls moves in the socket. Joystick can be moved in all four directions. The function of the joystick is similar to that of the book. It is mainly used in computer-aided design that is CAD and play computer games. Digitizer, what is digitizer? It is an input device which converts analog information into digital form. It can convert <coughs> a signal from the television or camera into a series of numbers that could be stored in a <coughs> computer. Digitizer is also known as tablet or graphics tablet because it converts graphics and pictorial data into binary input. Okay. Scanner, everyone knows about the scanner. What is scanner? Scanner works more like a photocopy machine. It is used when the some information is available on the paper and it is to be transferred to the hard disk of the computer for further manipulation. So this is uh, so what the scanner does. That scanner it captures the images from the source, which are then converted into digital form that 
can be stored on the disk. OMR optical mark reader is a special type of optical scanner used to recognize the type of mark made by the pencil or the pencil. Okay. It is used where one out of few alternatives is to be selected and marked. Barcode reader BCR is an optical scanner used for reading barcode data. Okay, barcode data is generally used in labeling goods. Okay, so barcode reader scans a barcode image, convert it into an alphanumeric value, which is then fed to the computer to which the barcode reader is connected. OCR, what is an OCR? It is an optical scanner used to read and printed text. OCR scans text optically character by character, converts them into a machine readable code. Okay. <clears throat> Magnetic ink character reader MICR is generally used in banks. To the conference. MICR is used generally in banks because of generally used in banks because of large number of checks to be processed every day the bank's code number and check number are printed on the checks with a special type of ink so this could be contain a particular of magnetic material that are machine readable so this reading process is called as micr that is magnetic ink character recognition next one is voice input devices what is voice input devices it is the latest input devices that can recognize the human voice okay the human voice is converted into it takes as input and then it process so various applications like adding sound to multimedia presentation or for mixing of the music so this is about voice input devices What is monitor? Everyone knows what is the output devices or the display devices. Output devices are hardware components which are used to display or print the processed information. Okay. So this includes monitor, printer, plotter, speaker, or computer. What is monitor? Commonly known as visual display unit VDU. It is the main output device of the computer. It forms images from any teeny dots called pixels arranged in rectangular form so the sharpness of the image depends upon the number of the pixel printer is the most important output device which is used to print information on the paper two types of printers impact and non-impact printers impact printers that prints the characters by striking against the ribbon and onto the paper are called impact printers, character printers, line printers. So print one character at a time, character printer. Okay. So there are two types of character printer, decimal printer and dot matrix printer. <clears throat> A daisy well printer uses plastic or metal hub with spoky coil spokes called daisy well. Dot matrix printer it prints the characters by putting dots onto the paper. Line printer <coughs> this printers print one line at a time. Drum printer print the line by rotating the drum having a ring of ring of the characters for each print position chain character by rotating the chain having ring characters for each print position next one we have seen the impact printer and second one is non-impact printer <coughs> The printers that print the character without striking against the ribbon and onto the paper are called as non-impact printer. So these printers print a complete page at a time, hence they are also called as page printers. Two types of non-impact printers, one is laser, laser printer and second one is inkjet printers. What is laser printers? These printers look and work like photocopiers. 
they are based on the laser technology in this printer so laser is used to write the image on the paper so there are many models of laser printers depending upon the speed and the number of dots printed what is the inkjet printer it prints the character by spraying the paper with electrically charged ink these printers give better quality than character printers but not better than laser printers they have an option of using color cartridges or multi color printing <laughs> so uh, next one is output devices plotter flat flat bed plotters drum plotters inkjet plotters speaker computer output microfilms all these are the output devices next one is memory unit or the internal storage area of the computer the term memory refers to data storage that comes in the form of chips and the word storage is used for memory that exists on the tabs and the disk the memory is usually used as a short form for physical memory which refers to actual chip capable of holding data every computer comes with certain amount of physical memory usually referred to as main or the primary memory or the random access memory hard disk floppy disk so what is hard disk hard disk is a magnetic disk on which you can store computer data the term hard is used to distinguish it from a soft or floppy disk hard disk holds more data and are faster than a floppy disk hard disk is fixed inside the computer and is not easily removable so it consists of one or more disk platters and access mechanism read write heads which are sealed in a case what is floppy disk floppy disk fd is a storage device which is small flexible and easily removable so it is made of plastic disk coated with magnetic material which is sealed inside a square plastic tub it is called floppy because it is soft having flexible physical property okay next one is cd everyone knows about compact disc cd is a storage device used to store data information and storage software which can be read only and not be changed or erased <clears throat> dvd what is digital versatile disc read only memory that is dvd rom is a read only digital versatile disk commonly used for storing large software applications so it is similar to cd but has having large capacity so it is called as digital versatile disk that is dvd pen drives what is pen drive pen drive is a portable device which allows users to transfer the data like text images videos to and from the computer quickly so users can quick easily read and write the data in the pen drive by plugging it into the usb port on the computer pen drives are quite compact and fit easily into the pocket they run without battery and draw power from the usb connection itself so both the floppy disk and compact disk are are uh, now being gradually replaced by pen drive as per preferred means for data storage so it offers mass data transfer and storage capability and at much faster rate <clears throat> so this is about you need to the input devices storage united out and the output there are different types of computer 
we can classify the computer based on the following criteria like purpose technology and size and storage capacity so uh, there are according to the purpose the computers can be classified into two types general purpose computer and special purpose computer so general purpose computers that follow instruction for general requirement such as sales analysis financial accounting okay almost all the computers used in offices for commercial educational and other applications are general purpose computers special purpose computers computers that are designed to perform special tasks like scientific application and research weather forecasting space applications according to technology used according to technology used okay so the first we have seen the special and general purpose that is according to purpose computers according to technology there are three types analog computers digital computers and hybrid computers what is analog computers as special purpose computers that represent and store data and continuously vary physical quantities such as current voltage and frequency so these computers are programmed for the measuring physical quantities like pressure temperature speed okay and to perform computation on these measurements example for analog computers are thermometer and speedometer <coughs> digital computers are mainly general purpose computers that represent and store data in discrete quantities and numbers what is hybrid computers it incorporates the technology of both analog and digital computers this computer store and process analog signals which have been converted into discrete numbers using analog to digital converter they also convert the digital numbers into analog signals or the physical properties using digital to analog converters so according to size and storage capacity classified into four types super computer Supercomputer is the biggest and fastest computer designed mainly for complex scientific applications. Mainframe computers are also large and fast computers, but smaller and slower than supercomputers. Mini computers are medium scale, smaller, generally slower than mainframe computers. What is microcomputers? It is the smallest digital computer which uses a microprocessor as its seat. Okay. it is a single chip cpu and properly uh, proper popularly known as personal computer that is pc computer network troubleshooting it includes troubleshooting hardware and software troubleshooting is needed once there is any trouble to work with hardware where on the software so as most of us have experience there are some errors that can be pop up or shown as a message so hardware troubleshooting uses a systematic approach there are different errors like compiler errors load errors runtime errors so this is the first second unit of the it and e learning this is all about the input devices output devices or storage using hardware and software okay in next lecture we will see what is computer software okay Unit three will be the computer software, and next lecture we will see what is computer software and chapter. Okay, here we will stop here.
थैंक यू एवरीवन